Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, so today I'm here to have a little bit of a play. So in this package, um, I have got some very exciting products that have come from Craftspire. Now they have sent me them um, uh, as a gift uh, for me to have a play with, um, so that I could give them a try out and let you know, uh, let all of you know how I'm getting on with them and stuff. Um, so what is inside? Shall we have a little look? Um, if you excuse the rustling, let me get everything out. There's a few things in here, and you can already see what it is, can't you? <laughs> well, to be fair, I mean, the title of the video will tell you what's inside more than anything. Um, is it everything? It is. Okay. Wonderful. So, the lovely people at Crossfire have sent me um, a wax seal kit. Um, now, they, they sort of basically just arranged for me to choose the items that I wanted. Now, I've never had one of these, so I was right in there with wanting one. Um, but I also got with it this uh, wax seal. Um, this I, I, um, I added to the order to go with all of this. Um, and it's a mountain scene. Can you see? with uh, star, a starry and moonlit sky. Now this really reminded me of my travel blog logo because um, my logo has mountains in the background. So um, yeah, I went for that one. But I'm really excited about this. I can't believe it. Um, I've wanted one for a long, long time, but I just didn't know anything about it. So I wasn't gonna go out and you know rush to buy something. Um, so I'm really excited to just give it a go. Um, now they had lots of different products to choose from um, and I went with, and they had lots of different designs of this, sorry that's really shiny, um, lots of different designs of the, um, I don't even know what you would call this, the, the burner. Um, so I went with this really nice red kind of wood and uh, starry sky, starry print as well. Um, and then it came, so this this came separately, um, and then all of this together was in like a, a beginner's kit for wax seals. So you get the, the little tea light candles to go with the holder. You get loads and loads of um, wax seal, um, you know, wax hexagons. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what to call them. Um, but yeah, you obviously melt, melt these down. And I've got lots of different colours in there. I won't get them all out because I'll have them all over the desk. But there's like um, like a bronze, pink, dark pink. Um, and you could have all different colours that you could choose from. I just went with like a, a whole mix of different things. Um, and, but I, do, I knew that I wanted pink, gold and silver in there for definite. Um, and then it also came with these uh, gold and silver metallic pens, which as far as I'm aware, when you stamp the wax seal, you'll get like a raised bit that you can, um, you know, colour over um, to give your wax seal um, a nice uh, gold or silver like raised image. Um, I'm doing a terrible, a terrible job of explaining this, but basically I'm new to this. I want to have a bit of a play and I just wanted to show you what came. Um, now the lovely people at Crossfire have given me a discount code that I can share with you. It's Mahalo5. They gave it with a capital M, so I presume that's important, but I'll pop this in the description box below for you. Um, as far as I'm aware, it gives you $5 off over a $40 purchase. I think it was something like that. So I've got all these goodies, um, and I kind of just wanted to give dive in. <laughs> I don't want to wait, wait around. Um, so I think today I just want to go ahead and just start, um, yeah, having a play, um, and just make some make some wax seals. I'm not going to do a whole load. I'll just um, hang out with you for a few minutes making some, um, and then you know, once I've got the hang of it, I'll come back and do an actual video for what I'm going to do with them or what kind of thing that we want to make. In my head I have ideas for like page embellishments um, and stuff like that but I want to do a little bit of research but yeah I just couldn't I couldn't wait. I could not wait. So um, what I've also got next to me is um, now a long long time ago I bought some uh, uh, what are they? They are they're wax that you put in a hot glue gun. I bought these off of Etsy. Um, now obviously I hadn't ever used them, but at the same time I did buy my own um, wax seal as well, uh, which is this pretty dear 
with flowers on so I'd quite like to try that at the same time today um, and then I've also got this these hearts entwined hearts um, which as far as I'm aware I can just screw onto these handles um, and then I got this in a, a different haul video uh, which you would have seen uh, a couple of months ago now so yeah I kind of want to just give it a go um, so what should I do next I think what I'll do is I'll get myself set up ready because I have a feeling I should probably put my mat out to protect my desk so I'll do that um, and then I'll come back that's really shiny I'll move that out of the way uh, I'll come back and we will um, we'll see what what fun I can what fun and mischief I can get into today so I'll be back in two secs okay I'm back uh, I just thought I would have a little bit of a a test um, just because I've never I've just put my finger in the ink of course I have um, yeah, I just thought I would give them a little test because I've I've never done wax seals before. So these were my first couple of attempts. Sorry, I'm just going to move that flame. <laughs> um, so I've got the mountain one and the hearts. Um, this one went. I didn't. I don't think I put enough wax in that one. But that that was the first one, and that came out pretty cool. So. Let's, um, I'm glad I did a test actually because I tried uh, a few different ways of doing it and eventually I realised that you're supposed to use greaseproof paper if you want to be able to peel them off easily. So um, uh, greaseproof paper is what we call it in the UK, it's, it's like baking paper, you know what you would use for cookies or muffins. Um, so that seemed to work okay. So let me grab some, um, I think I might have used up all of the pearlescent pink ones but that's okay because I've got some pale pink ones here and I kind of want to mix them in with the pearlescent white um, and I might be running before I can walk but that's that's who I am so I'm gonna put three in I think three is too many um, but two seems to be not quite enough um, at least from my very quick practice just then. So um, let's go for this. There we go. This is fun though. Um, and then I just wanted to try out the pens uh, whilst I was trying it out. And it was surprisingly easy. I mean, they're not perfect, but it was surprisingly easy actually to stick to just the raised bits. So I'll show you that um, in a minute as well. Now I've got this little like plastic pokey tool thing which um, I'm using to you know you're probably not supposed to do that so be patient Justine <laughs> there we go so yeah thanks so much for joining me for my <laughs> joining me for my weekly playtime it's um Sometimes you just like to have, you know, silly sessions like this where you don't really have a huge plan. Now, do you suppose I can try and like... I was trying to get like a marble type of effect. It's kind of swelled, so let's see what happens. Okay, mm, this one. <laughs> and they're not perfect by all means. They are not perfect at all, but I don't mind that. You know, you don't get perfect uh, wax seals in um, the olden days. You know, they didn't. They didn't care about that. They just wanted to get it on there and quick get the letter out the door. <laughs> So, I'm wondering whether to do another one whilst that's um, that's waiting. So there's still a little bit of pink in there. So I'm going to add gold. And okay. And then I want to try the mountain stamp again. I don't know if I should put another one in there. So many colours to choose from. Let's just pop another gold in. Now I think I've got two different colours of gold in there. There's sort of a um, 
a darker gold colour and more of a yellowy gold colour. But yeah, just kind of want to have a bit of a play. And there we go, that is that one. <laughs> the hearts. That's very cool. And you see, ever so slightly, it's just got the specks of the, the pearlescent white. I don't know if you can see that. That's really pretty. Not perfect at all, and I don't mind. <laughs> right, so let's see if I can clean up this wax off of here a bit. I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm going to stick it in anyway, but... Oh, tell you what, it's fun mixing colours. Okay, and this one. This is really fun. I appreciate this is probably not a very interesting video, but I'm having a whale of a time. <laughs> if I was on my own, I would play some music or something. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to sing for you. We do not want that today. And then we've got my beautiful deer as well. Gosh, I feel really spoiled having these to play with. I really like them though. I really like the, the ones with the extra colours in. So I'm really intrigued by this one. Leave it a bit longer. So yeah, using the greaseproof paper makes it easy just to pull them straight up. Um, now, you know, I won't always do wax seals like this, but just sometimes it's not um, it's not feasible to have, you know, a candle out and stuff. And you just kind of want to grab something. So I could just um, glue that onto something, um, you know, a page embellishment or something. That's... Oh wow, oh my goodness, that is so marbled and interesting, wow, I'm sorry, I'm just admiring it, it's like, can you see, oh, it's going to be so difficult, isn't it, but in the flesh, that marbling, wow, that's fun, should we do some more? I don't know how long I've been filming for, not very long, I don't think, so, um, I'm just trying to decide whether I want any more pink ones or whether, what's in there? It's pink and gold in there. So I'm going to go throw caution to the wind and I'm just going to put in, that's pearlescent white, the gold and the pink. Um, and then I think I want to start thinking about some other colours. Now I don't, obviously I don't want to use these all up because really this is just playtime, but I want to try and find a good colour for the deer. So for the deer, I would probably use it in autumn fall type projects. So maybe if we've got like um, brown, sort of their sort of goldy browns. That's a bit more of a, a rose gold. I think I want to mix the red and those two colours together and just see what happens. Let's do this one first. Oops. Yeah, mixing the colours is really fun. I might have mixed that one a bit too much. <laughs> it's like stamping. Once you start, you can't stop something. I just want to swirl it all around. I just want to play. I'm still learning where the middle is, as you can see. Um, but uh, yeah, let's try. So I've got the gold, goldy brown colour and a red. Um, and I want to use that for the deer, so... Ooh, sorry, excuse me. I'm just swapping the seals over. That's lovely, that you can just swap around. So you only really need one handle then, don't you? I'm sure you probably already knew that, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. 
Oh, don't touch it. Just be patient, Justine. So this one will be mixed with some pink. But I don't mind. Oh, got that stuck to the plastic. Okay. Right. I'm just going to leave that because that looks really nice with that flash of red. Okay, let's give this one a go. I suppose having the two handles is useful for this where you're waiting for one to cool down and you could be moving on to number two. Now that one seems a little bit thinner, but that's okay. I can't remember how many wax... Are they wax beads? Is that fair to call them wax beads? Alright, let's see if that one is peel upable. Sorry, ignore the smoke. Just move that over. Okay, just want to show you. So, this is the, the gold and the pink. Is it two different types of gold in there? I can't even remember now. Um, but really, really interesting. So yeah, I think we'll try the colouring in. Um, just, I just want to show you really how simple it was. So for this one, I'm going to go over it with silver. Um, and so basically, yeah, I just, I went just over the raised edge. And I'm not very good at colouring in between the lines, never have been. Uh, but it's really, really easy just to... She says. <laughs> okay, it's not that easy, but it's, um, it is easy. Um, I suppose you have to be a little bit um, careful with it. Um, not to get... Not to get it on the... You just want it on the raised bits. I'm sure you know this already, but, you know... There was a time when I didn't know these things, so because I don't know the level that people are at when they're watching, it's like, I feel like if there's <laughs> something, I might as well give you too much information than not enough, huh? Um, yeah. Can't see what I'm doing now, let me just turn it, just that little bit there. And this time, Justine, don't move it, <laughs> or don't... Put your fingers in it until it's dry. Okay. Ooh. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> I'm dropping the lids and getting the ink all over me. But there you go. That's really nice. Really, really nice. I love, love mixing the colours. It's just got this really unique marble effect. Um, so whilst I'm here, I'm going to go over this one, these hearts in gold. You know, I appreciate this isn't going to be the most thrilling video, but this is just me having a bit of a play, uh, trying them out. See what I mean? I cannot colour in between lines. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. Especially not when I'm talking. To be fair, I think this one maybe needed a little bit longer to dry. It feels squidgy. So yeah, maybe you're best not colouring them in uh, until, you know, they're cooled down and dry. And You're not impatient like me though, are you? <laughs> it's still pretty though. How's that looking on camera? It's, it's hard to see, really. Okay, what do we think? So this is the deer. Ah! Look at those autumn colours! That's the, uh, yeah. The gold and the brown and the red. How pretty. Really pretty. So I'm not going to sit here and colour them all in because that would be really, really infuriating to watch. But yeah, I just wanted to show you um, me using the, the product. Just, as I say, I need to have <laughs> quite a lot more practice um, at the whole thing. But yeah, I just wanted to give them a go. Um, and, you know, we can um, 
we can actually make some some things together using these um, and of course I'll come back <laughs> on a different day with um, you know the wax and everything I need to um, find out what to do about what's left that's really pretty can you see that red swirl yeah mixing colors is my favorite thing <laughs> Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. Um, so that was uh, the products from Craftsby that I got. Um, they, I forgot to mention, I will link the products below um, that I've received from Craftsby just so that you can, um, uh, if you're interested, uh, you can see exactly what it is that I got. Um, and of course, as I say, there is a $5 coupon code that you can use, excuse me, uh, which will be listed below as well. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna do a couple more videos about wax seals. Once I've had a bit more practice at it though, that was very much my first attempts at it and I'm already in love with something new. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you had a laugh, <laughs> cringed, I don't know, um, at my little playtime and um, I, I hope to speak to you soon. See you on the next video. Bye bye for now.